Hello and welcome to day three of the 28 day gratitude practice. So today is all about magical relationships. And if you think about it, if there was no one else in the world, if there was no one for you to interact with, life would be pretty dull, wouldn't it? So it is our relationships which can bring us the greatest nourishment, the greatest joy, um, but also the greatest challenges as well, right? <laughs> so magical relationships is about bringing gratitude into our relationships uh, to bring magic into those relationships. And there's a lovely quote for you here. It says, we can only be said to be alive in those moments when our hearts are conscious of our treasures. Isn't that lovely? That's by Thornton Wilder. So um, Rhonda Byrne says in here, and I love this, that when, you, when you're practicing gratitude, what it increases in you is your patience, your understanding, your compassion and your kindness. And um, when I read that, it really resonated with me because that's definitely what I can see is coming to me the more that I have practiced gratitude and the more grateful I am for things and people. You know, whether that's an easy ride or whether it's a challenge. Because remember, our challenges are um, some of the greatest gifts actually to help us grow and help us expand in love. So uh, the practice for today is to find three photographs of three people that are close relationships to you. So it could be your partner, could be your um, children, your siblings, could be close friends, um, any relationship that really matters to you really. So you find a photograph and it can be the person or of you and the person. And then the first thing you do is you sit down and you look at the photograph and you think about all the things that you're grateful for, for that person. So it might be their smile, it might be their laugh, it might be their wisdom, maybe they've supported you, maybe they've helped you out, um, anything, anything at all that you're grateful for. And then choose five, you're going to write down five things that you're really grateful for. And you're going to start by saying thank you and then their name and then what you're grateful for. So say I was going to do my daughter Martha, I'd say thank you Martha for, and then I'd write down whatever I was grateful for. So five things for each person. And then you take the photographs with you. And about three times throughout the day, just get them out, have a look at them. And just think about the things that you're grateful for in that person. Look into their eyes in the photograph and then just say thank you and their name. So if it was Martha, I would just look, think what I was grateful for and then say thank you, Martha. And, um, and then also don't remember you've got the morning practice, which is to list the 10 things you're grateful for. Read them out and say thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you've got your evening practice where you're going to bed with your magic rock and thinking of the best thing of the day and saying thank you for that. So uh, yeah, so there we go. So today, magical relationships. And I just think that when we practice gratitude for relationships, they flourish. Because um, I know I've been in relationships in the past when it's not going great and all I focused on is the negative and of course the whole thing implodes. And uh, now I think, gosh, it's, it, it's so amazing the impact we can have um, to bring ease it doesn't mean that we're going to control what happens with the relationship, but that we can certainly help it flourish and um, we can do that through practicing gratitude. So enjoy that today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.